So um, <clears throat> we will start by sitting uh, like cross-legged, but I want your cross legs to be um, so that the front shin is parallel to the front of your mat and your knees are coming towards each other and your feet kind of like sticking out the sides of it. So now you can see a perfect triangle in front of you and then try to get both sitting bones on the floor. So we will uh, begin like this and we will end in this way too. Okay, so uh, the principle of vinyasa yoga, of uh, hatha yoga, is the breath. The main essence, the essence of the practice is the breath. Uh, the heart of the practice we will call for now vinyasa. Yes, so it's bringing movement to the breath. And really the heart is seen in uh, the practice of Surya Namaskar, the um, awakening of the sun. Uh, the sun, literally the sun uh, energy that is uh, moving up and down the central channel. So we, um, in other words, again, <laughs> is uh, the life force, you could say. So we are tapping into that life force and we're opening up the channel so that life force starts to move freely. So we focus on the essence of the Ashtanga practice as well as all Hatha practice is the breath and also is the essence of life, right? So uh, we start off, the first thing you do when you're born, you inhale. So the inhalation is governed by uh, this area, the pranic panel center. This is the, where the pranic body of all the prana vayus, the different prana bodies, this particular prana body is called prana itself. And it's governed, um, well, it's centered around the heart area. So when you inhale, it's because of the pranic breath that you are able to inhale. This movement here lifts up and you are able to inhale. So it governs the inhalation. It also governs things like uh, imagination, the feminine uh, aspects of life and um, expansion. Um, life itself so everything that is explosive and um, inspirational so in Italian uh, for inhalation it's inspire inspire or in Latin uh, would signify the inhalation which is inspiration so we inhale we open up the chest so we can take our left hand and replace it here and then the exhalation uh, is governed by another force called uh, apana, the prana vayu called apana. And apana is um, generated just below the navel area and it's what governs the masculine aspects of or principle of life and uh, it's moving down, it's going down into the ground, right? It's, uh, it also governs the exhalation, obviously, and uh, the secretion of waste, meaning uh, all the fluids, so the urination, um, semen, uh, uh, blood, uh, everything that you need to secrete and secre uh, get rid of and, or, or that goes back into the ground, it governs that area and that process. It also brings you into a, a one-pointedness, sort of a grounding. So when you finish your exhalation, when this draws in, uh, you touch the root of the navel area. So the root of the navel goes all the way down to the very tip of the root, which is uh, just above the, the space in front of the rectum. So in the center of the pelvic floor, you could say, or um, at the perineum. So, with your awareness, we will slowly start developing over time, and this takes a long time, but over time you will start to uh, bring your awareness to that point, and you will touch that point with your awareness at the bottom of your exhalation. And on the inhalation, you will observe that moving up, so it moves up the spine into the, into the pranic panel, so it wants to float up. Okay, that's enough information for now. <laughs> Let's, um, we keep our hands here for the inhalation and then we'll take our right hand um, just a few inches below the navel and maybe along the belt line and uh, we'll press down. 
no, no, don't press your heart, but you're just kind of keeping your hand there. So you're going to observe the exhalation. So exhale into that area. And then you'll sort of feel like the bolt line drawing in. And then as you inhale, you allow your diaphragm to expand and work naturally, but inhale into your chest. And then exhale back into the bolt line. Relax your shoulders. Inhale into the chest. Exhale into the navel area. So you're going to keep that sense of uh, contraction in the navel as you inhale now. Lifting in the chest. Let your spine grow tall, the size of your red cage expand. Keep that lift in the spine as you exhale. Keep that expression, but empty the breath. And keeping this sensation and this expression from the exhalation, we're going to move up the spine into the chest, expanding, growing tall, full of life, full of inspiration. And keeping that sense of life and inspiration and liftedness, we're going to the celestial force, we're going to exhale back into the titheredness, the grounded experience of the exhalation. And keeping your awareness and your sensations, the awareness of the sensations of that exhalation, we're going to inhale. Naturally, you're coming to the sensations of the inhalation. And exhale back into the sensations of the exhalation. So we'll bring our hands back. So that was just normal free breathing, right? We didn't do anything fancy. We didn't do ujjayi breathing or anything weird. It's just um, a natural breath. We will bring that with sound, natural breath, free breathing with sound, which sounds a bit like the ujjayi breath, right? The ujjayi pranayama, which is constricting the glottis slightly, slowing the air down as you bring it in, and then slowly letting it out through the valve here. Hmm? So that would be ujjayi breathing, but ujjayi pranayama is very precise. This is more free. So we're going to constrict the glottis slightly, and um, we're going to um, create a sort of sound with the ocean. So we, we'll try that together. So we take an inhale, open your mouth, and pull out your glasses, and you want to clean them. So you clean, yes. And then you can rub them. <laughs> and now you're going to take it back. Same, through it back. Keeping that control in the glasses here, and then... Now close your mouth and do the same. It's as if you're breathing through the mouth. And then exhale, keeping your mouth closed. You want to breathe on your glasses? With your mouth closed. So you hear a slight kind of like soft um, Darth Vader sound in the back of your throat. Very soft, nothing loud. It's, you're not really trying to be Darth Vader. So we just want to imitate some lightness of it. So that would be free breathing with sound. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll inhale here, lengthening the inhalation to about five counts, and then exhale back into the navel, hand below, exhale five counts. Plus or minus, five counts. Inhale, extending that inhalation, relax your shoulders, exhale. So when we do this exercise, we are actually only um, working up and down that central line. So that's the only thing that's active. The shoulders and all the other muscles in the body are completely relaxed. The spine is lengthening naturally, out of inspiration. It wants to grow tall and expand. And then we hold that inspiration and excitement for life and we're going to exhale and naturally everything that needs to relax even more relaxes. The shoulders, all the muscles in the body. But we keep that lift, that, that the essential lift, I mean, the essence of the inhalation. And then inhale again. And exhale. Empty. Okay. So we'll do that with vinyasa. So that's everything, by the way. That's the whole practice. That is the 
heart and essence or the essence of Ashtanga Yoga. That's the whole practice. We don't really need to do much more than this. But uh, since it's so easy, we're going to do a little bit more. And uh, we'll bring vinyasa into it. So vinyasa means uh, breath and movement together, right? But there's a correct way to move with the correct breath. Otherwise, it's not really vinyasa. Uh, uh, originally, how vinyasa was taught. So uh, the vinyasa, would, the inhalation would always be an expansion, a pre-alignment, a lifting, an opening. And the exhalation will always be something that brings us into something. So we uh, relax, we ground ourselves and we move into, right? So with the inhalation, we're going to begin by lifting the spine as if our hands were here. In the chest, we're lifting in the sternum. And then follow the inhalation, we bring the hands in front of the airline. So if this is the airline, over here, then we want to make sure our arms do not, our shoulders do not go past the airline. So they're in front. Awesome. A little bit more in front. So we can bring it down again and let's try that. <clears throat> so I, I'll do it, demonstrate it, and then you follow me. So it goes like this. In here, shoulders open, and I turn my gaze towards my nose, and my eyes are very soft as my hands touch. I gaze towards my thumbs. I'm not doing a back bend in my spine. Exhaling, I slowly follow the breath and my hands come down. Right? So there's no, there's no back bend. There's no strain in my back. Everything's relaxed. The only thing that's moving is the inhale, the natural essential movement of the inhalation, the expression of it, which is opening here. And then my arms follow that breath, so I initiate the breath, and then I open my shoulders so that my shoulder blades will run down the spine, and I have a big open heart at the back of my spine, and my hands touch. Uh, I can take my head back freely. If it's not good and you don't feel safe, you can keep, your, you can keep the gaze forward like this. But if you feel comfortable, which you should if you do it correctly, your eyes should be soft and relaxed, and not looking at the third eye, but rather the nose. This softens the eyes and allows your head to drop back safely. Absolutely safe. Okay. So the gaze will be running down the tip of the nose towards the thumbs. So we'll come together. Begin to inhale. Follow the breath. Open the shoulders. Bring the hands towards each other. Lift the heart up towards the hands. Gazing at the thumbs. And then exhale, follow the breath. Touching. And we'll do this five times. Inhale. Relax on the shoulders. Work the breath. So just the expression of the breath, the chest is lifting up, the shoulders are relaxed. Gazing at the thumbs. And then exhaling, floating down. Touch. Inhale. Exhale, follow. Empty the belt line of the stomach. Inhale. Touch. Exhale. Relaxing the shoulders, keeping that sense of inspiration. Inhale. Rotate your shoulders out, bring the elbows towards each other, palms touching, gazing at the thumbs, exhale. And we'll do one last one, just for practice. Inhale up. Extending the sides of the ribcage, the whole body is lifting and then exhale, relaxing. So that's the uh, concept of vinyasa, right? <laughs> so everything will move like this. So we do an uh, introduction to Ashtanga today. Uh, we will do the same thing in Samastatihi. So we'll come into Samastatihi. I think it's known as Tadasana, or mountain, or standing. Or okay, but Sama means uh, 
Sama is the same, e equal statihi. Sama statihi, equal stability, you could say. Uh, so therefore, what we're looking at is um, a sort of equalness in the weight distribution in the feet. So firstly, let's bring the feet together completely and we'll spread the toes, pressing the roots of the toes into the floor and then we'll get the toes on the ground, right? And then we'll observe become equal. You can start picking up your uh, free breathing. So inhale, moving up the spine, exhale, allow your awareness to drop down the spine into the feet. That's your grounding. Inhale, lifting up in the arches of the feet, draw up in your kneecaps. And exhale, relax your shoulders. Can you Keep start the expl explanation? Just say, this, this is Samasiti, and it's had the 30 second pre roll so I had to, I had to reset it. So just basically start again. Start again. Just, just the, uh, just Samasiti. Samasiti. Yeah, from Samasiti, Samasiti. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm? That means it starts. Oh. Okay, so uh, this is samastatihi. And sama, you could say, means uh, equal. Sama, stitihi, equal stability. So really we want to be in a space of um, uh, equal distribution. And that's in every way. So this, we always start in samastatihi and we always end in samastatihi. So sitting here now, or standing, no, sorry. So I'm um, standing here, we're going to um, close our eyes and just observe where the weight is pressing in the feet. So just observe, maybe you're leaning more to your left, maybe you're leaning more to your right, maybe too much in the front, pressing into the roots of the big toes, or maybe you're falling back a bit and you have to compensate. Just find out where, you maybe you're moving around. Maybe you're spinning around, rocking up and down from side to side. Just let your body do what it needs to do. And then pick up your free breathing with sound again. So we're going to inhale. And we're moving up into the chest. And we relax the shoulders as we exhale. We allow the shoulder blades to run down the spine. And we bring our awareness into the feet. And then start to find an equal distribution in your feet. So you can press the roots of your big toes into the floor and spread your other toes, all your toes out, and then press them into the floor. And then slowly as you inhale, lift up in the arches, draw up in the kneecaps, and lift into the chest, keeping your shoulders relaxed and your shoulder blades running down the spine so that the back of your heart remains open. Inhaling, lifting up. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. We're going to take the thumbs out and we're going to press our thumbs, take our thumbs and hook them underneath the armpits and then let our shoulders just hang on the, on the thumbs. So our shoulders don't have to do any more work. Inhale, lift in the chest only. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Observe the weight distribution in your feet. Inhale, Press into the feet and lift in the central line of the feet. So the arches begin to lift up, the inner arch. Draw up in the kneecaps, draw up the chest. Lengthen the back of the spine and exhale. So you'll find, you can release your hands, so there will be one line running from the center of your feet all the way up the front line of your spine, through the back of the heart, through the roof of your mouth, to the top of your head. And then you can sort of imagine a string lifting the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Keep the uh, free breathing with sound. So you're keeping your eyes closed as well. You can imagine yourself to be like an Indian flute. An Indian flute, hollow. You can visualize the space along the central line, all the way up from the roots of the feet, the inner arch, all the way up to the top of your head. So one other thing that we observe in 
Samasta Dihi is the, um, the expression of the inhalation. The extreme expression of your inhalation would be your chest lifts up and your pubic bone drops down. So this would be the expression. And then naturally what happens is that your uh, shoulder blades will close. So everything will be open in the front. And if you were to only exhale in life, your expression, ex the extreme expression of that would be your tailbone would lengthen and you would close here when you would empty. And this would be the expression. Hmm? So we want to make sure in Samasthiti Hi that we're expressing those both mutually, equally. So not one or the other, but completely both. Like both are absolutely active. So the expression would be here, and the expression would be here. Inhale. Exhale. So it's almost as if the pelvis would tilt forward on the inhalation and the pelvis would tilt um, backwards on the exhalation, depending what your forward and back is. Inhale, exhale. But now you do nothing and you just imagine the line. So you inhale, you imagine your, in, your pelvis, your pubic bone dropping and your pelvis tilting forward, but it doesn't. And then exhale, you counter that by lengthening the coccyx between the legs and out the front so that they meet each other in the central line. So inhale from there again. So the front of the chest is open as well as the back. Okay. One, two, three for vinyasa. Okay. One, two, three, and then we'll go back to two and then back to one. So inhale one. Relax the shoulders, bring the hands together. Close the hands, look at the thumbs. Exhale, back to Samasthiti, breath stroke. Inhale, lift. We'll just do three of these to warm up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, lifting. Relax the shoulders, open the back of the heart. And then exhale. Observe. Inhale one, exhale, I begin to follow the exhalation as I dive forward and down. My hands come outside my feet, on top of my feet or on my shins, depending on the flexibility. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. So I'm going to pretend I need to bend my knees right now, so I'll just touch here. If you can do it, you touch the floor like that. Drop your head. Inhale, bring your chest forward. You can either come at your fingertips, if ultimately you would want to keep your hands flat, and you lift the chest, so the expression of the inhalation comes into play, we lengthen the chest forward. And then back into your exhale, we can drop the head. And then back to one. Our hands close and touch. And then back to some city here. So it's one, hands touch, two, we fold forward and down, drop the head, look at the nose, inhale, lift the chest, grow tall, gazing between the eyes, and then back to two, exhale, empty the breath, find your emptiness and your groundedness, so you're pressing into the floor, stay grounded as you inhale back to one. Opening the chest again, full of inspiration, like a hot air balloon that's been anchored to the floor. And then exhale. We'll land softly. Okay. Ekam, inhale, one. So eka means one in Sanskrit. Duve, exhale, for two. Gazing at the tip of your nose. Drop your head, relax completely. Trini, inhale, growing tall, leading with the chest, lengthening, opening up the buttocks, and exhale back to two. Keep that length and inspiration as you move back into your groundedness. Inhale, staying grounded, lift up like a hot air balloon. 
touch the floor, Prini, and then exhale. Mm, that was Ekam. <laughs> so Ekam, inhale. Do a exhale, fold forward, drop your head. Prini, inhale, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, keep the back of the heart open. Exhale, back to do a position. Inhale, back to Ekam position. Close your hands and then Samastri. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Ekam in here. Do a exhale. Trini in here. Do a exhale. Ekam in here. Sama Stitihi. So we'll move into the next six vinyasas. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll demonstrate. In here, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, four. We'll step back. So ultimately, we'll exhale into a sort of push-up position. But if you need to come down onto the floor, you may. Right? So this would be number four. Number five is upward-facing dog. So to come into upward-facing dog, you want to kick forward first so that your hands are not in front of your nipples or the uh, armpit line, right? And then you can press your feet into the floor. Take your knees off the floor and then rest on your hands. And don't press into your lower back. So you're actually just resting, putting all the weight in your armpits, rolling your shoulders back. And you can gaze at your nose tip. And then exhale, you can roll over your feet or step back into number six, which is downward facing dog. Hmm, I have my microphone falling on the floor. <laughs> Should I do that again? Hmm? Hmm. So we'll take uh, five breaths here. And the gaze would be towards the navel. So we would drop the head completely, roll the shoulders down the spine, and then press into the floor with our heels. Inhale, drawing up in the kneecaps. Exhaling, lengthening the tailbone. Inhale, lifting the pubic bone up and behind us through our legs. And then exhale, let the tailbone meet the pubic bone. And then we can gaze forward for number seven, which is three. Number eight, which is the same as two. And number nine is the same as one. So three, two, one to come out. Samastri. Okay. <laughs> Inhale, one. Looking at your thumbs. Exhale, two. Dropping the head, gazing at the nose. Inhale, three. Lifting the chest, roll the shoulders back. Gazing between the eyes. Exhale, step, jump or walk back. And then you can either come all the way down to the floor by bringing your knees into the floor first. So it would be like that. And then slowly bring yourself down. Or you can try a strong staff plank sort of position and go all the way down. And then if you can hover just above the ground, great. Kick forward and lift in your armpits. Wonderful. Lift, roll your shoulders back. And all the weight is in your hands. Your back is on holiday. You should feel very good here. If you don't, you need to try it again. Exhale into number six. And we'll take five breaths in downward facing dog. Inhaling, drawing up in the kneecaps. 
exhaling, rolling the shoulders back and down the spine, bringing the heels into the floor. Inhaling, drawing up in the arches again. Exhaling, emptying the lower half of your abdomen, keeping it empty, draw in and up at the spine. So you want to draw up the spine into the heart, pressing the roots of the fingers and spread the fingers, the roots of the fingers into the floor. And exhaling, rolling the shoulders back and down. We'll take one last breath. And then inhale. Again, exhale. Soften your knees, gaze forward. Step, jump or walk. So we might want to take a step forward and then depending on your flexibility, you're going to lift the chest. You might need to bend your knees. If you can keep your legs straight, wonderful. Exhale, drop back into two position. Inhale, back to one. Close the hands, bring the fingers towards each other and then exhale, Samastapati. So we'll try not to um, strain any muscles in the body. So we don't need to do any kind of fancy things with our arms or anything. We're not doing any kind of martial arts. Everything is soft, only the breath. In here, up, exhale down. That's the only word. That's the essence of vinyasa. So now we've just learned the heart of vinyasa, which is Surya Namaskar. Okay? The heart and the essence is vinyasa. In here, lifting up. Letting your shoulder blades run down the spine, gazing at your thumbs. Exhale, diving forward and down, dropping your head, gazing at the nose. Inhale, lift your chest, let the buttocks blossom up towards the back of the room, long spine. Exhale, four, step, jump or walk. You can come into a low down plank, chaturanga, or all the way to the floor. Inhale, number five, kick forward, lift in the armpits, lift down the nose, exhale, roll over your feet and settle the heels into the ground. Inhaling, lifting up in the kneecaps, exhaling, emptying the lower half of the belly. Allow the, again, the buttocks to blossom up towards the far back corner of the room, towards the ceiling. Exhaling, you allow the heart also to melt towards the knees. But make sure if you cannot see your navel, you want to bring your ribcage in. So don't let your ribcage collapse completely. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling, emptying, grounding, pressing your heels into the floor. One more, inhale. And exhale. Soften your knees, gaze forward. Step, jump or walk for number seven and then back to eight which is like the same as two and nine one lifting up a composition and back to some of the team one do a two empty ground yourself stay grounded Inhale, stay grounded, but lift with inspiration and length. Chitwari, number four. Exhale, go down into Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, roll forward, number five. Lift, gazing at the nose. If you feel comfortable, you can take your head back. Exhale, shut, number six. Take five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, draw up your head, gazing into the navel, four, one more, inhale, exhale, soften your knees, step, jump or walk, two, sapta, inhale, three, ashtao, two, Nava, one, three, two, one.
samastri. Mm. We'll do two more. Air come in here. Do a exhale. Three knee in here. Chatwari step jump or walk. Exhale. Ansha in here. Shant exhale. In here. Exhale. One. In here. Exhale. Two. In here. Exhale. Three. In here. Exhale. Four. In here. Exhale. Five. Sapta, step, jump, or walk forward. Inhale, chest up. Ashtau, exhale, fold forward. Nava, inhale, reaching up, gazing into thumbs. Samastati. Last one. Ekam, inhale. Due, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Sha, exhale. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Sapta, step, jump, or walk. Inhale. Ashto, exhale, drop your head. Nava, inhale, reach up. Samastri. Let's do the next one together. So the next one, number one, the only difference is that there are 17 vinyasas and that you um, start differently and you end differently a little bit. The only difference is that now you get to bend your knees and you lift the chest the same as before. So we're going to bring the arms up the front line of the chest, I mean of the air, lift the chest and then open. And then to come out, the same, right? So uh, I'll demonstrate. I don't know if this is a good. Uh... <laughs> hmm? So I should go that way. If I face this way and I jump back. Oh, I didn't think about that. God, I could have done that the whole time. I've been doing it like this the whole time. <clears throat> okay, so. Just pause because then. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think you're going to have to cut a few things. Yeah, yeah, just so, so now um, these. Yeah. So, um, we, we can just do it all together because we've all done it before, right? So, it's, it's nothing new. So, um, <clears throat> right, so B, we'll do together. Bending the knees, inhale, reaching forward, just as we did before with the arms in front of the airline. Bring the palms together, fingers touching. Look at the thumbs. Exhale, you can begin to straighten the legs, drop forward and drop your head towards your legs. Inhale, lifting your chest. So we want to spread the fingers perhaps, try and keep them on the floor, keep the hands on the floor. Exhale, jump or step into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, forward into upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back into downward facing dog. Number six. And then angle the left foot at a 45 degree angle. And then bring the right foot between the hands. 
So you might need to pick that foot up and really try and bring it forward. Inhale, we're going to keep the hands in line with the heart. So, so you can hold uh, Namaskar Mudra over here. Namaste. And then take that forward, relax the shoulders. So the way the alignment would be, imagine there's a string um, in the center of your palm coming out to the center of your chest. So now I want to lift my chest up and I keep my eyes soft as they run down the nose line towards the thumbs. The gaze is at the thumbs. And then exhale, we come down, hands on the outside, exhale, all the way down to Chaturanga Dandasana. If you need to put your knees, chest, chin to the floor first, do so. Inhale, come forward and up. And gazing towards the nose. Exhale, rolling back. So both heels are going to press into the floor until that exhalation is complete. Then we're going to angle the right foot and bring the left foot forward. So maybe you might need to lift your foot a little bit forward and come up. So we'll go straight into it this time, but keep that alignment. Wow, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulders back, looking at the thumbs, and then exhale, holding forward and down, and we'll bring the chest hovering over the floor. Inhale, kick forward and up, and gazing towards the nose. Exhale, rolling over the toes and bring the heels towards the floor. Breathe six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Five. Soften your knees. Step jump or, or gaze forward and then step jump and walk forward. Lift your chest for three. Exhale. Two. And the same as one. You may bend the knees. Inhale. Reach up. We're gazing down the nose line towards the thumb. And then straighten the legs and breath stroke down to Samastadihi. Okay. Inhale. One. Bend your knees. Ekam. Exhale. Two. Dive forward and down. Gazing towards the tip of the nose. Inhale. Three. Trini. Exhale. Step, jump or walk back. Four. Inhale. Five. Looking at the nose. Tip. Exhale. Six. Both heels come down to the floor. Angle your left foot at a 45 degree angle. And then bring your right foot forward. Come straight into it. Inhale, lift up. Gazing at the tips of or the thumbs. And exhale all the way down. Eight. Back to Chatwari position. And nine. Inhale, lift into upward facing dog. Exhale. Ten. Both heels press into the floor. Left side. So we bring the right foot at a 45 first. And then bring the left foot forward, straight forward, and lift up. Keep your left knee bent, arms closed. Exhale, come all the way down. To ch chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, and belly on the floor. Inhale, lift, kick forward and up. 12 or 13, exhale, 14. So we've done 14 movements so far, and in the 14th vinyasa, we take five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, soften. Gaze forward, step, jump, or walk. Inhale, three. Exhale, back to two. Inhale, bend your knees for one. Reach up, close your hands, and samastatihi, breath stroke.